Hi there everyone and welcome back to a new video which is super super exciting and I swear I literally say that at the start of every video but this one really is. As you can see from the title of today's video, me and Charlie are actually going to a drive-in cinema tonight. This is something that I bought her as a birthday present. You might have known that if you watched the birthday vlog, I'll leave that link down below. We're actually going to watch ALF tonight and it starts at 6 o'clock but we're told we have to be there at 5. I'm not entirely sure why you have to get there a whole hour beforehand but we'll soon find out I suppose. I've never been to one before so I'm really excited and it's something that Charlie's always wanted to do. So I can't wait to go there tonight and it's actually quarter to two and I'm only just starting this video purely because of the reason that I actually haven't even been awake and up for that long. We're in this really terrible habit of going to sleep quite late at night as in like am and then waking up like midday which is fine for some people and i know that's how some people work but for me i know i just much prefer getting up early in the mornings tackling the day getting stuff done like i always just say that i like to be awake when things are open so like i want to be awake when the shops are open so i can go out and do my food shopping if i need to so i need to change that sleeping pattern asap because as I said, it's like two o'clock and I've literally done nothing today. I'm not even going to lie. I've sat in bed this morning for maybe like an hour or two. I've checked my socials. I've played this stupid new game on my phone that I'm addicted to playing. And I've had a few emails backwards and forwards with my dissertation supervisor, which is probably the most productive thing I've done this morning. And it means that I've got a few bits that I need to get done before we actually leave for the cinema. So I've got about, what, two, three, four... I've got about two hours before I actually need to get ready to go so that really doesn't leave me much time whatsoever. Basically I've got a deadline today for my project planning and ethics module which is a long way of just saying it's like the module that I do everything to do with my dissertation in. Um, I've got a deadline for my assignment which is worth 100% of the module and I actually finished this assignment about three days ago now and already submitted it. But I've been waiting for an email back from my supervisor about a few questions that I had. And I've only had the email back this morning. So I've got a few like, not corrections, but just a few changes that I'd like to make to my piece of work. And luckily, even though I've already submitted it to like the final link, I can still resubmit it if I change my work. So I've got until six o'clock to do that basically, but obviously we're gonna leave beforehand. So my plan now is basically to get myself up and ready because I've not like done anything at all as I said like I haven't brushed my hair I haven't got dressed nothing so I need to get myself sorted and I need to get myself onto my laptop ASAP and just make those few minor changes it shouldn't really take me too long like 15 minutes tops so it's worth it if it's a difference between a grade that's what I'm saying to myself so that's the plan and I'll catch up with you guys once that work is done and I'm doing something a little bit more exciting Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Okay, so time has gone on a bit. It's now 20 past three and I've just made myself my first little meal of the day. And I also thought to go with my sandwich, I could open my advent calendar. So I actually haven't done this today. And today it looks like one handed. We've got a present and look how thick that is. I didn't like this advent calendar at the start, but now I really do. And then sticking with the Christmas for a second. Our naughty elf today <laughs> is doing, you know, a Mighty Cyrus wrecking ball into the bedroom. So that's what he's up to today. And I also gave, I know I'm going to get stick for this, but I also gave Charlie a Christmas present early. Purely because I bought her a ball ball as a Christmas present. I don't know how well you'll see it, but it basically says, first Christmas in our new home, Tanya and Charlie. Now, granted, we obviously don't own this house, but this is our first place that we can actually like settle and call a home for the next few years. So I thought that was pretty cute. If we didn't give it her early, we wouldn't be able to, you know, enjoy it. It would just be like, here you go, Merry Christmas, and then time to put the decorations away. 
And then on top of that, <laughs> there's a lot of like random little updates. We also just received through the post this Christmas card, which is like handmade. And I was like, who could that be from? So it says Merry Christmas. And it's actually from my cousin Lauren. So thank you very much for sending that. Lauren actually studies graphic design. So she would have actually made this herself. I actually leave her graphic design Instagram down below in case anybody wants to check it out. Because she does so much cool stuff. And if anyone's interested in like logos and bits and pieces, then definitely head over there. The link will be in, this, in the description box. I'm now going to take my sandwich, take my chocolate. A bit weird putting that on a plate. I've also got a garlic and onion dip as per usual. I'm going to sit on the bed whilst I eat this and just check through any extra emails and things that I've received since this morning. I'm fully aware that, that was just like a two minute clip of me like showing you things and not my face. So it's a little bit weird but yeah I'm just going to check my emails, reply to any messages that have been sent because realistically it's 20 past three now so there's only like 40 minutes until we need to start getting things ready for the car. Um, we want to take like loads of pillows and blankets and things so I'll probably just catch up with you then. More moments later. So it's about 10 past four now. I've finished like relaxing and doing a few bits of like admin stuff and I've just come downstairs because I'm starting to get ready all of the little bits that we need to take with us for the cinema. Our car basically doesn't have heating so it's going to be cold because it's cold out there right now. I'm literally going to go in the outfit that I'm wearing of like my H&M, big woolly hoodie and my joggers. But I've just made this massive pile of like winter warmth. So we're going to take our like big teddy bear blanket off our beds. We're taking two big pillows each that like, you know, we normally sleep with. So I made the bed this morning for nothing. Charlie also wants to take these um, padded cushions that we have on the dining room like chairs because sitting on the car seats for a long time isn't exactly the most comfortable so that's quite a good idea we've also got <laughs> two hot water bottles so we'll take one of those each and boil in the kettle at the minute and i'll fill those up later as i said it is going to be cold and i don't know how cold so we're going to take those just in case and then most importantly i'm trying to get snacks ready um we still got bits out from charlie's birthday but for her birthday i actually bought her like some little cinema bits so we've got some coke zeros which isn't really for me because i don't actually like those and then i bought some oreo bites someone else bought us some like calling the caterpillar bits and pieces so they're options of what we can take as well we both absolutely love this toffee popcorn from m s would 100 percent recommend getting some of that and then a classic cinema snack is like Maltesers, so I bought this sharing bag as well. And I think that's everything. I need to get like drinks for myself, but I'll probably just take a can out of the fridge to be honest. And other than that, I think I'll just fill up my water bottle just in case. I don't want to drink too much whilst I'm there because I don't want to use the port loos purely just because it's going to be dark and I can only imagine the state of them once the men get there in the dark and they can't see what they're doing. So I don't particularly want to use those if I can help it. So I don't really want to drink too much, but I'll take a little bit with me just in case. You might also notice that the Christmas tree has officially moved back into the living room and I love it. All of the presents are underneath the tree now already. And the big balloon decoration for Charlie's birthday has all been popped and taken down. So we've gone back to our, I mean, you can't really see that lighting is terrible, but we've gone back to our festive table decorations so you know it's goodbye to the birthday and hello to christmas but it's quite exciting and um, we're going to finish off getting the bits together for the cinema pack them into the car and then head off in a little bit so i'll catch up with you then here's little miss cutie currently trying to put up the fairy lights in the car she's doing a very good job say hello to the vlog <laughs> oh, we'll obviously turn these off when we're driving around but it just saves a little bit of time when we get there i'm now going to actually start like getting on my shoes and trying to load up the car with all of the bits and pieces that i've got even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my highs you can say i lost my mind i will keep on oh wow we've just got here and look at all of those lights that woman's probably thinking, why are you a babe? Go that way, that way, that way. Wow, we Sorry. Keep going, Okay. Oh, wow. Is that Santa? Oh, he's got a Santa mask on, yeah. 
So we've just been positioned in our space. Luckily, because we're a little car, we get to come closer to the front. So we really have got like front row view here. And I was gonna buy gold circle tickets. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to buy gold circle tickets but they were sold out they weren't too much extra but they were extra and I'm kind of glad I didn't because we really have got a good view here I think any clothes on my neck would be hurting from looking up but it is so cute you had all the lights on the way in there's lights all the way around the edge it's really cute we've got our uh, little fairy lights on there's a little princess oh it's very zoomed in <laughs> that's better give us a wave now hi and i think we're going to get our snacks out we've been given a massive a massive speaker usually on like these sorts of uh, cinema things they connect it through the radio but here we've got a wireless speaker and it's so loud we've just smothered it underneath all of the pillows and we've got about half an hour until the film starts but we have got been given this qr code one for track and trace and one for the menu so I think we're going to check that out and see if there's anything in particular we want to order. As I said, food can take up to an hour if it needs to be prepared. So we'll check that out before the film starts. And in about, I don't actually don't even think I said what film we're watching. We're watching Alf at the driving cinema. So in about half an hour's time, Alf is going to be on. And I'm just so excited. Are you excited? Very excited. Is this the best birthday present ever? Or have I done better before? It's, it's up there. Better than... It hasn't started yet, I don't know. Mm. We'll review it afterwards. No human being has ever set, set foot in Santa's workshop. The film is just starting and we are cracking out. <laughs> the homemade J2O's. Homemade J2O's. The J2O's from home. <laughs> Thank you very much, my love. And just like that, we are back from the drive-in cinema. It's half past eight. We've just walked through the door and we're just setting up the laptop to do something which I'll tell you about in a minute. Did you have a good time at the cinema? I did, thank you. What would you rate it out of 10? 10? Mm. It was good. Yeah, we were fussing so much about being cold and I feel so silly now because we didn't use a blanket. We didn't use the hot water bottles and I didn't really need to be in like my joggers and jumper. I was actually quite warm. So we look a little bit silly there, but it was really, really good and actually like surprisingly comfortable in the car. We'd definitely go back again, like next year. We might even make it like a yearly Christmas thing if they're around next year. And now we are about to log on to a Zoom meeting and do something called a pickle off. Do you want to explain what a pickle off is? It's too complicated. Just explain it in quick words. So everybody pickles onions um that is a lengthy process if you're familiar with it and then on the great pickle off which happens once a year at around christmas there'll be one pickle off judge who tastes all of the pickled onions and says there's a winner and gainer's gonna be our pickle yeah. off judge so everyone else has sent gainer pickles yeah. to like their pickles that they've made and, and it's she's, very she's just gonna, people get very upset she's just gonna sit there eat the pickles and say which one's the best and yours is the best mm -hmm. And then what does Anne get? Nothing. I'm um, pretty just, sure there's a medal or a trophy. Anyway. Pickle. <laughs> just being able to Pickler of the year. <laughs> no, you're the pickle off winner. <laughs> well, apparently this is a, a big thing. Uh, it's not just like this family that do it. It's well, I'm not sure lots. how many people do it. Oh. Uh, it might be. Because I've never heard of this before. Pickles I think it's are quite, just a Christmas thing. I think it's quite individual. And I never think for Christmas, I don't know why you'd pick a pickle. Not like you can ask them the origins. I don't know. I only joined a few years ago. Uh, the camera battery is flashing, so I'll catch up with you because I'm gonna need to change it, and I'm almost out of storage. Hi everyone. Since my camera battery died whilst I was filming this video, I didn't actually replace it and finish off like the vid. So I'm just gonna pop on now and do a quick outro and say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe down below as per usual. And I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye.